Hi, good evening, everyone. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, Hi, hi. Good evening, Good evening welcome. Teacher. Good evening, Carlos, Jorge, Veronica, Brian, Christian, Andy, Edwin, Jansi, Mayra. How are you guys? Today is Friday. Today, exactly. Yes, yes. Finally, finally. Today is Friday, right? It's amazing. It's amazing. We are ready to celebrate. <laughs> now, we, we, we cannot celebrate because we, we are in class. <laughs> yes, it's bad. It's sad. It's good, but sad. Yes. Tell me, how was your day at work? How was your day at work? Was it good? Was it bad? More or less? Very well. For me, very well. It's a good day. It's Friday and I'm ready to sleep in. All right, all right. That's that's good. That's good. Yes. I think I think I think Friday is is psychologically easy for everyone. You know, because it's the last day and like you're going to have Saturday and, and Sunday off. You you feel happy, you feel excited about the weekend. Yes. Amazing. What about the rest? How was your day, people? In my case, it's, it was well, well, too. It was okay. Yes, all right, yes, all right. Yes. That's good. That's good. Yes. There, there was a, uh, there was a lot of work. Mm -hmm. um, yes. Um, I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay, and you're fine. There was a lot of work and you're fine. Yes. That's good. That's good to know. That is good to know. Yes. Yes. All right, all right. Yes. Thank you guys for being here today. It's Friday, as you know. It's the last day, uh, well, not the last day of the week. But you know, Friday is, is the best day <laughs> because we celebrate. We have fun. We are going to rest on Sunday and Saturday, or Saturday and Sunday, so we we, we feel okay. Yes. All right. Uh, I haven't checked the WhatsApp group, so I don't know who are going to be as, as listeners today. Let me check right now real quick. I have the computer. I mean, I have it says here. Oh, hold on. Okay. Okay, we have Denise, who is going to be as a listener, and it's just Elizabeth. Mayra, is that you? No, Raquel, Raquel, okay. It's, it's Raquel, Raquel, all right. So Denise and Raquel are going to be as listeners. Brian, are you going to be as a listener? Let me know. Yeah, teacher, about uh, about the work. Because okay. this is the reason you, for the you listener. Are, you are still working. You are still working. I yeah. understand. I understand. Thank you for letting me know. Yes. Okay. Very good. Very good. Let me tell you something funny, people. Algo chistoso, gracioso. Que me pasó el día de ayer. It's like sometimes we are we are very 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 uh innocent and uh, naive. Some of being naive. Naive. I say in a chat. Naive. Do you know what that is? No? No. It's, what is, it's, what is that? That, that word is not very, it's not very common. Yes, let me show you what it is. Yes. <laughs> let me show you what it is. There you go. Look, take a look. Do you see it? Lo pueden ver? Yes, yes. Okay, here we go. Look. Yes. What I'm trying to say is this one, okay? That I, I do not have a lot of experience with technology, 
And uh, that sometimes we are very innocent in different situations. So yesterday I was I was curious because the camera the camera of this laptop was not working. Okay, the camera of this laptop was not working, and I was like uh, uh, at night I was like, let me check it out. Let me see what the problem is. And you know what the problem is. Y esta cámara tiene, un, tiene una tapadera aquí arriba, un taponcito, que si lo muevo se, te, se cubre. Observen. Yo no, sabía, yo no sabía que se cubría así. I was like, what? This is not possible. Y, la, y le quitaba la cosa esa, ya funcionaba. Y me quedaba yo, no es posible esto. <laughs> Can you believe it? That's not really possible, right? Oh, my God. I felt, I felt very, very bad, very naive. <laughs> Yes, it happens, it happens, suele pasar, suele pasar. <laughs> yes, oh my God. I was laughing, I was laughing at myself. I was like, wow, Mauricio, you have a lot to learn. Hay mucho que aprender todavía. All right, yes. Welcome, welcome people, uh, Anna, Marvin. Thank you people for being here. Who else? Just them. <clears throat> okay, let me let me take attendance real quick. Let me do that. Ana Victoria Galán. Present. Thank you, Andy Ernesto Martinez. Present teacher. Thank you, Andy Brian David Ramirez. He is there. Present. Thank you, Brian. Carlos Alberto Orrego. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, Carlos. Carlos Eliezer Dima Soriano. Christian Alexander Rivera Carranza. Present, teacher. Thank you, Christian. Thank you very much. Denise Alejandra Zuniga is as a listener today. Diana Yamile Maravilla. No, okay. Edwin Heriberto Delgado. Present teacher. Thank you, Edwin. Ismael Ernesto Boyat Solis. Jorge Ernesto Hernández Durán. Present teacher. Thank you, Marvin Josue Cortez. Present. Thank you, Marvin. Mayra Elizabeth Lazo Escobar. Present. Thank you, Paola Geraldine Santa Maria Ramirez. Raquel Elisa de la Rosa is going to be present. Thank you, thank you. Sa Sandra Ibez Mendoza. Sara Rachel Salazar. Veronica Lisset Portillo. Present teacher. Thank you. Jancy Andrea Solorzano. Present teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Excellent. Thank you, everyone, for your participation. Let's begin. As you know, as you already know, we usually begin the class with the review. Okay, do you remember the topic that we were practicing yesterday? Do you remember? Of course. Uh, we uh, we talked about uh, there is, there are. Okay, yes, Carlos is right. We were practicing or we were talking about there is and there are, but in the question form. In the question form, yes, that's what we were doing. All right. Let me ask, let me begin with the review by asking you a couple of questions using there is and there are, or is there and are there. And well, you are going to answer that question. Okay. Let's begin. Let me see, Marvin. Yes. Hold on. Ready? 
Uh, I'm not sure what. Okay. I'm going to ask you a question with, with is there or are there, and you're going to answer the question by saying, yes, there is, yes, uh, no, there isn't, yes, there are, or no, there aren't, all right? Okay, okay, right. Okay, the question is, are there any books, are there any books in your office? Mm, no, there, there aren't. Okay, no, there aren't. The question, the answer is correct. No, there aren't. All right. Uh, let me see. Marvin, ask me a question. Okay. Uh, is there a laptop? Yes, there is. I am using the laptop. Okay. Yes, there is. Thank you, Marvin. Thank you very much. Ismael, welcome, Ismael. How are you? Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you for asking. Yes. All right. I'm That's going good. to ask you a question. All right. Sure. Yes. Is there is there a telephone? Is there a telephone in your house? Yes, there are many telephones. Really? Yes, there are. But I did not say cell phone. I said telephone. Oh, telephone. Yes. Is there a telephone in your house? Yeah, yeah. Ah, in, in my house. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. One telephone. All right, all right. Can you ask me a question? Uh, is there a, a fridge in your house? Yes, there is. It is, it is outside. Well, this is my room. The fridge is in the living room or the in the kitchen or living room, whatever. <laughs> All right. Yes. Thank you, Ismail, for your participation. Let me see. Uh, mm -hmm. Where's Edwin? I don't see him. Oh, yes. Yeah. Edwin? Yes, teacher. Okay. Let me ask you a question, Edwin. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay. Is there is there a garage in your house? Yes, is there. There is, sorry. Uh -huh. Yes, there is. Yes, there is. Okay, Edwin, now you ask me a question using is there or are there. Okay. Uh, is there a closet in your room? Yes, there is. Very old. But it's still it's still working. <laughs> I need to get a, a new one though. I'm going to buy a new one soon. All right, excellent, excellent, Edwin. Veronica, you. Okay. Uh, is there a? Okay. Yes, yes go is... ahead. Is... Okay. <laughs> is there a a fan a fan uh your House, your house is there a what? Sorry, fan. Oh, okay. Is there a fan in my house? Yes, it is. Yes, there is. It is, it is actually in front of me right now. So I'm using, I'm using the fan. Yes, okay. Veronica, let me ask you, let me ask you a question. Is there, is there a clock on the wall? Yes, there is. Okay, yes, there is. All right. Let me ask, let me ask one more person and then we will do an activity that I have over here, which is the same, uh, it's the same about, about is there or are there. I just got it ready. All right. Anna, you. Is there a wine bar in your, in your house? Is there a what, sorry? Wine bottle in your house. Is there a bottle of wine? Wine, uh, vino, no yes. de vino. Is there, it will be like this. Is, is there it? a bottle of wine? Bottle ah, of butter. wine. Right, or wine, oh, sorry. Is there? <laughs> no, there isn't. <laughs> There is there is a bottle of red red chest. Red chest? 
español. <laughs> broma, broma. No. <laughs> that's that's horrible, horrible. <laughs> well, Jorge likes it. <laughs> all right, all right. People, thank you. Uh, let me see who just... Uh, Sara, welcome. Sandra, hello. Paola, thank you guys for joining today's session. Hi, teacher. Yes, hello. yes, thank you, thank you. Hello, hello. <laughs> All right, look at this. This is an exercise. I don't know if you're able to see it. Do you see it? Yes. Yes, teacher. I yes, teacher. Wait, I know what I'm telling you. No. No. Now I see you. Okay, here we go. It, it says there, it says there. Is there, are there, yes, no questions with short answers. Complete the questions with is there or are there and give a short answer. We have 10 examples. Let me make this bigger. Okay, what? Are you able to see it? It's kind of blurry. It's a little, a little blurry. Blurry borroso, okay. Are you able to see it? Blur. Yes, yes, teacher. Yeah. Okay. Let, let's begin. This is easy. This is easy. If you have any questions, <clears throat> excuse me, if you have any questions about the vocabulary or any expression, let me know. I did something with the configuration. Uh, I don't know how to fix it. What is cushions? Sorry? Uh, cushions. Oh, cushions. Uh, how do you say that in Spanish? Como los, los, los colchones. Yes. Colchón, yes. That's what it is. Cushions, the cushions, cushions, cushions. Actually, it's cushions.
if you have any questions, let me know. I'm here. Teacher, I don't understand. I'm sorry? What don't, don't you understand? Uh, the, the activity. <laughs> okay. The activity is about is there and are there. You're going to use is there or are there to complete the questions. And you're going to answer those questions. For example, let me help you out with the first one. It will be are there, right? Because we have cushions. Sal, it's the plural. For example, let me, oh, wait. there you go. Are there cushions? Are there cushions? On the bed, yes, there are. Yes, there you go. You can continue. Are you guys done? No, not yet? Yes, teacher, it's done. Okay, Sandra is ready. Who else is ready? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. You, yes. Veronica? What about the rest? Are you guys are you guys finished? I'm going for number seven, teacher. No, okay. yet. You're, you're still working on it, okay? I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you one more minute. Yes. One more minute. Okay, let, let's begin, let's begin. Let me choose one person. Oops. Uh, 
Let me see. Jorge. Hello. The first one, I mean, the second one, Jorge. Hello. <clears throat> sure. Are there four rooms in the flat? No, there aren't. Okay. Let me try that one out. Are there, are there four rooms, right? Four rooms in the flat? No, there aren't. Okay. Or you can say are not. That is up to you. You can say no, there aren't or not, or no, there are not. What is the meaning of flat, people? Do you know? Bandera. I'm sorry? Bandera, no. No, that'll be flag. Se parece. Es como flag. El piso, como el piso, el nivel del edificio. Apartamento. Yes. That's what it is. Apartment. Okay. Apartment. Yes. Okay. Very good. Anna, read the, the second. Sorry, the third one. Is there a band near here? No, there is. Okay, look. Is there is there a bank near here? Yes, the, the question is correct. No, there isn't. There isn't. Or you can say is not. No, there is not. No, there isn't, or no, there is not. Okay, that is up to you, up to you. All right. Uh Sandra, read the fourth one. The four. Are yes, there four. 20 candles on my burial cave? Yes, there are. Okay, are there... Are there 20 candles in, on my birthday cake? The question is correct. The answer is also correct. Okay, so we can say yes. Yes, there are. Okay, yes, there are. Let me continue with another person. Let me see. Andy, can you read the other one? It's number five, Andy. Is there a part behind that skyscraper? Yes, there is. Okay, thank you, Sarah. Thank you. All right. Is there, is there, right? Is there a park? Is there a park behind that skyscrapers? Sorry, skyscraper. But it was plural, but no. Okay. Yes, there is. What is a skyscrapers, guys? Do you know? No. You don't know? No saben? Rascaciel? Yes, exactly, yes. It's a very tall building. Very, very tall. Uh, Diana, read number six. Diana? No me escuchan, dice. Sorry, teacher. Sorry. No había puesto el micro. Okay, okay. Okay. Go ahead, go ahead. Is, is there okay. any more, any more net less if you water not? There it is not. Okay. Yes. Is there, excuse me. Is there any money left in your wallet? No, there isn't. Okay, no, there isn't or no, there is not. Okay, yes. Okay. What is left, people? Left. Okay. 
Dieter. No, left, left. I don't know, teacher, izquierda o derecha. <laughs> no, acá es restante. De, oh, de sobra. Okay. Like, restante o de sobra. <laughs> It will be, it will left, be like this. left teacher is from um, dejar también. Oh, that would be in a different context, like abandonar, dejar, en pasado. Mm -hmm. Yes. In this case? In this okay. case, in this case, it Mo means, it ah, means que restante. Sobra o, o, mm -hmm. Exactly, sobrante, algún, exactly. Que tiene algún billete extra o algo así. No. It says, hay, hay algo de dinero restante en tu cartera o sobrante. Como quien dice tiene dinero para pagar la cuenta. <ríe> no sé. La casa es 20, ya van a pagar. Oh my God. <ríe> All right, take it easy, right? Ismael, can you read number seven? Yes, teacher. Are there students from different country, countries in his class? Yes, okay. there are. are there? Sorry, the answer. Are there? No, the answer. The answer. Oh, yes, there are. Okay. Are there? Are there students from different countries in this in his class? Yes, there. Yes, there are. Yes, there are. Okay. Number eight, Paola. Can you read number eight? Is there a problem with John? Yes, there is. Okay, we did. Is is there is there a problem with John? The, yes, there is. Yes, there is. Let's continue with the other one. Christian, can you read number nine? Yes, sir. You? Is there any good watches on TV tonight? No, there isn't. Mm, we have matches, matches, partidos. Ah, okay. Are there are there any any good matches on TV tonight? No, there aren't. Exactly. Are there are there any good matches on TV tonight? No, there aren't. Okay, no, there aren't. Matches can be can be partidos or encuentros. Encuentros deportivos, okay. Ya sea tenis, uh, mm -hmm. basketball, football, soccer, whatever, American football, rugby. Yes, etc. All right, one more, the last one. Let me choose another person. That person is Carlos Al Carlos Alberto. Um, is there a new house in your street? Okay, no, is there... there sorry, go ahead. Uh, no, there isn't. Okay. Is there all right? Is there a new house on in your street? No. There isn't. There isn't. Yes. Or no, there is not. There is not. Okay, exactly. Or no, there is not. All right, people. Excellent, excellent. Very good, very good. Okay, uh, it, it seems it seems to me that you have completely understood the you the, understood the use of there is and there are in affirmative, negatives, and questions. Let's continue or let's begin with this. Let me show you. Why are we here? All right, here. This this information is on page number twenty three. Open your books and go to page number. 23. The information will be there. Okay. Let me read the objective. It says, I will be able to ask for and provide information on location of facilities of the company. All right. Look, there's a question. Do you know where the different rooms are in your workplace? 
People, do you know all the rooms in your workplace? Where are the rooms? Exactly, yes. Yeah, yeah. For example, in my workplace, there mm -hmm. is a kitchen, and there is a medium room, and other, other room. Okay. So, do you know? Do you know your your workplace completely? My workplace. Yes. Um, Sorry, teacher, I, I, I didn't understand. <laughs> no, no, your your answer is correct. But, but my question is, is do you know, do you know every place in your company? Every place, yeah, yeah. Like every place or every corner? <laughs> every corner, I, I don't think that every place, yeah, I have an idea. Okay, you have an uh, idea, all right, all right. Every centimeter. Sorry, Sandra. Ah, uh, it's not possible. Every centimeter. <laughs> Sandra, maybe uh, yeah. That is not possible. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Sepan que hay lugares que nunca nunca han pisado antes. Nunca, nunca, jamás. <laughs> y nunca lo harán. <laughs> All right. Well, let me tell you that my my workplace it's a school. The school is not very big. Uh, it is located in a canton. And it's not very big, so I know I know every place, every place of the school. Yes. So for me, it's not a problem. Yes. Let me tell you, let me tell you this one too. When I was uh in the in high school, in high school, uh that high school is really, really big. So you can study two years or three years there, and you will not know where every every is place is at yes you will not really know it's difficult to know yes all right let me ask uh veronica veronica do you know yes, the you places should. do you know the places in your workplace the rooms in your workplace um, i think i know and um the meeting the rooms so I share the kitchen. Um, oh my god. Okay, so you pretty pretty much know everything or everywhere. You know all the places, okay? That's okay, that's okay. Thank you. Uh let me see. Carlos Eliezer, hello, welcome. Hello, teacher. Hey, do you know the places at your workplace? I mean, do you know the every room in your workplace? Um, not the all teacher, but I know some some room. Uh, for example, uh, the mirror room, or, or the workshop, and the engineer room. Okay, Carlos, is your workplace big? Um, no, teacher. It really is very small. Okay, it's it's very small. I understand. I understand. All right, Carlos. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Let me see, Andy. What about you? Do you know all the rooms in your workplace? Hello, teacher. Hi. Do you know all the rooms in your workplace? And can you repeat the the question, please? Yes, the question is, do you know all the rooms in your workplace? Hello. <laughs> hello, hello. Uh, Puede escucharme? Yes, I can hear you. Hola. Ah, okay. And in my in my workplace, yes, is different rooms. Okay. And do you know the rooms? Do you do you is do you know? Because you don't know, or sabe dónde están. 
yes, I I know where the different rooms. Okay, you know where the where the different rooms are at. Muy bien, muy bien. Uh, people, let's continue with the conversation. The conversation is very short. I, as you can see, there are not words involved. No hay ninguna palabra en negrita. You say, listen to your teacher in the conversation, then practice with one of your partners. Good morning, everyone. It's a pleasure to introduce the new floor safety engineer. Hello, everybody. I am Mary. I am providing some safety instructions today. Tell us about that, Miss Mary. Wear a helmet all the time. Walk between the yellow lines and don't forget to wear the earplugs all the time. It is important not to get close to red areas. That's the conversation. Do you have any questions about the vocabulary? Any questions about the vocabulary? What is hel helmet? Helmet. It's something you put on your head to protect your head. Yes. Helmet, helmet. You put it on the helmet. Casco. <laughs> what it is. Yes. Okay. More questions? What is uh, earplugs? Oh, earplugs. Earplugs is also is also a piece of thing that you use to protect your ears. Okay. Yes. Uh, there are there are noisy places, noisy, you know, noisy, ruidosos, lugares ruidosos. There are noisy places, so you need earplugs, okay, for protection, to protect your ears, okay? Se llaman tapones de oído. Sí. Earplugs, okay? More questions? No, we're good. Estamos bien? Let me read again. Listen carefully, all right? Good morning, everyone. It's a pleasure to introduce the new floor safety engineer. Hello, everybody. I am Mary, and I am providing some safety instructions today. Tell us about that, Miss Mary. Wear a helmet all the time. Walk between the yellow lines, and don't forget to wear the earplugs all the time. It is important not to get close to red areas. There you go. Let's practice for a couple of minutes. Okay. Teacher, teacher, sorry. Uh, can you uh, can you repeat? Uh, can you uh, pronounce again the uh, this word safety? Safety. Oh, safety. 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 Yes. safety, okay. Safety. safety, okay. Thank you. All right. Teacher, it's correct. Safety oh. or safety? I'm sorry? It's, can be safety? Safety? Safety, safety yes, safety. Safety, yes. Okay. Let me hear the first people, the first guys, the first uh, ladies, I don't know. Yes, Marvin and uh, Andy. Mm -hmm. Go. Okay, I will first. Uh, yes, Walter, good, good morning, everyone. It's a pleasure to introduce the new floor safety engineer. Hello, hello, everybody. I am Mary, and I am providing some safety instruction today. Tell us about that, Miss Mary. Wear a helmet all the time, walk between the yellow line, and don't forget to wear the earplugs all the time. It is important not to get close to red areas. Thank you, teacher. All right. Uh, thank you, Andy and Marvin, for your participation. Real. Let's continue with Carlos and Jorge. Carlos Alberto and Jorge Ernesto. Okay. 
Okay. Your first Jorge or me? Yes, I, I start. Okay. Good morning, every, everyone. It's a pleasure to introduce the new floor safety engineer. Hello, everybody. I am Mary, and I am providing some safety instru instruction today. Tell us about that, Miss Mary. Wear a helmet all the time. Walk between uh, the yellow lines and don't forget to wear the air tools all the time. It is important not to get close to red areas. Okay. Thank you for, for reading. Thank you. Edwin and Ismael, go ahead. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, good morning, everyone. It's a pleasure to introduce the new floor safety engineer. Hello, everybody. I am Mary, and I am providing some safety instructions today. Uh, tell us about this, Miss Mary. Wear a helmet all the time. Walk between the yellow lines. And don't forget to wear the airplanes all the time. It is important not get not to get close to red areas. Okay, it's important not to get close to red areas. Let's continue with uh, Sara and Diana. Okay. Okay. Sorry, Sara. Good morning, everyone. It's a pleasure to introduce the new floor, Safe Engineer. Hello, everybody. I am Mary. Uh, I am Robin from Safe Instruments today. Tell us about that, Mr. Mary. Miss Mary. Miss Mary, yes. We are helping you. All the time, war between the yellow lines. I don't forget to wear the emblems all the time. It is important not, not to get close to red areas. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Diana and Sara. Let's continue with Paola and Sandra. Sandra Paola. Okay. Good morning, everyone. It's a pleasure to introduce the new floor safety engineer. Hello, everybody. I am Mary, and I am providing some safety instructions today. Tell us about that, Miss Mary. Wear a helmet all the time. Walk, walk between the yellow lines, and don't forget the wear to wear the earplugs all the time. It's important not to get close to red areas. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Paola and Sandra for reading. Let's continue with Mayra and Veronica. Hello. Okay, teacher. Okay, thank you. Good morning, everyone. It is a pleasure to introduce the new floor safety engineer. engineer. Hello, everybody. I am Mary, and I am providing some safety instructions today. The last about that, Miss Mary. Wear a helmet on the tie, walk between the yellow lines, and don't forget to wear the airplanes on the tie. It is important not, not to get close the red areas. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Mayra and Veronica. Let's continue. Christian, Anna. Okay. Hi. Good morning, everyone. It's a pleasure to introduce to new floors 
safety engineer. Safety, safety. Safety engineer, sorry. Hello, everybody. I am Mary, and I am providing some safety inclusion today. Tell us about that, Miss Mary. Wear a helmet all the time. Wear in between the yellow lines. And don't forget to wear the air cloak all the time. It is important not to get close to red areas. Okay, it's important not to get close to red area. Oh, Brian is back. Brian, are you here? Ready? Yeah, teacher. Okay, Carlos Eliezer? No, right? I'm here, teacher. No, okay, teacher. go ahead, go ahead. Carlos and Brian, you're the last ones. Son los últimos. Okay, you, sir. Okay. Good morning, everyone. It's a pleasure to introduce the new floor safety engineer. Hello, everybody. I am, I am Mary, and I am providing some uh, some safety instructions that, today. Uh, tell us about that, Miss Mary. Wear a helmet all the time. Walk between the yellow lines, and don't forget to wear the earplugs all the time. It is important not to get close to red areas. Okay, it's important not to get close to red areas. Thank you very much for participating, people. We are going to do the next activity, and the next activity is this one. It says, spare work. See the diagram of the RACS facilities and identify the different places. We got production area, reception area, planning area, manager office, auditor office, quality control, restrooms, exit, and parking. Okay, we have a little map, a small map over here. And uh, from A to I, we have the places. Letter A, production area is over here. The reception area is the letter B. It's, what is it? No, oh, it's, it's over here, look. That's the reception area. The planning area is right here. Manager, the manager office is right here. Look. Then we have the auditor office right next to the manager office. Quality control letter F is right here. Well, we have two quality controls. And uh, restrooms, we have letter G. They are right here. Look. Exit is only one. The exit is only one. You can see it right here. Look. And plan parking, sorry, is here. Okay, what is auditor, guys? Auditor, Sanchez auditor. No. Auditor, sorry, teacher. What did you say? The place. Uh, what is the place uh, that are you asking? What? I'm sorry, Ismail, I don't understand. Uh, <laughs> uh, don't worry. <laughs> I don't know how to say the, the question. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I understand. I understand. All right. Okay, we have, we have the location of every place or every area right there in the map. And over here we have number four, it says spare work. You are, look at that, you are at the parking and you have these questions. Where are the restrooms? Where is quality control? Where is the manager office and where is the exit? And we have vocabulary here, go straight, que significa ir recto, go straight, turn left, Girar a la izquierda, turn right, girar a la derecha. Walk 10 meters, trabajar, perdón, caminar 10 metros. Walk through the production area, caminar a través de el área de producción. Okay, yes. People, let's answer this question. Respondamos las preguntas.
Let's answer the questions. No, wait. Pero mejor, mejor no. Porque acá tengo el vocabulario que les quería mostrar. The topic that we have today is giving instructions. Giving instructions, okay? Ask and give directions as well. Okay, we got that part. Okay, look. I got some vocabulary about asking and giving directions between, next to, behind, in front of, near, far, on the corner, left, right, straight. Okay, these are common words that we use when we're asking or giving directions. Let me repeat them. Between, next to, behind, in front of, near, far, on the corner, left, right, straight. Do you have any questions about those prepositions? No? And if you read, if you read, the definition is next to it. Look between in the middle of two things. Okay? En medio de dos cosas. All right? Next. I have more places here. I have more places here besides the one I showed you on the book or that are shown on the book. Bank, post office, bus stop, park, museum, city center, or downtown, subway station, and mall. Okay? Yes. Those are more places that we can find everywhere. All right? Yes. Look at this one. Uh, more vocabulary related to streets and uh, directions, traffic lights, crossroads, roundabout, street, avenue, highway, block, and tunnel. Yes. Questions about this one? Any questions? Teacher, what is Avenue? Sorry? Avenue, I don't know. Uh, abajo de street? Avenue, avenida. It's, it's ah, okay. avenida. And the que está arriba de street? <laughs> Roundabout. Roundabout. Yes. Rotonda. Redondel. Ah, Rotonda. Redondel, <laughs> como el yes. salvadoreño. Yes. Okay, thanks. Roundabout, roundabout. What else came us? We're good. Okay, more vocabulary here. Yes, about directions, go past. The expression is, or the word is, go past. Go past the cinema. Okay. Es como ir y pasar del cine. Okay. Ir y pasar del cine. Like, like pasar el cine. Look, pasar el cine. Okay. Básicamente, pasarlo. Yes. So walking or driving, pasarlo. Go along this road. Go along this road. Okay. Como ir por ese camino. All right. Por ese, solo, solo por ese camino. Ya sea en curva, en recto, pero ir por ese camino. Along. Along that road, the same road, sin cambiar de calle, okay, la misma, el mismo camino. Go straight on, es ir recto, go ahead, okay, go straight ahead, okay, look, stay on this road, don't turn, como ir recto, no, no virar a ningún lado. Go through the tunnel, pasar a través, o ir a través, okay, go through the tunnel, at the roundabouts. Take the first exit, okay? En el redondel, toma la primera salida, la primera, primera salida, okay? Turn left at the crossroads. Gira a la derecha en... How do you say crossroads in Spanish, people? Guys? Crossroads in Spanish. I, I, I can't remember. La intersección. Una calle, una calle cruz. Mm -hmm. 
intersection 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 take the second right okay take the second right it's on your left you see it in front of you it's on the other side of the road and you're going the wrong way that is vocabulary about about asking and giving directions let me go back let me summarize it again and let me know if you have any questions between next to behind in front of near far on the corner left right and straight bank post office bus stop park a museum city center or city downtown subway station and mall yes traffic lights crossroads roundabout street avenue highway block and tunnel okay yes questions about this preguntas teacher yes y si tengo que decir cruce la calle cross the street cross the street yes Yes. Okay, thank you. More questions? No? Okay. Vamos a ver. Thank you, thank you. Nos regresamos acá. Yes. Ahora sí, respondamos las preguntas. Where are, excuse me, the questions are, the questions are about this diagram you see here, okay? So you're going to answer the questions according to the diagram. Four questions. Where are the restrooms? Where is quality control? Where is the manager office? And where is the exit? People, let's go. Iniciemos. Remember. You are, you are in the parking. Okay, you are in the parking space. Está en el parqueo, según la, la, la indicación. Estamos en el parqueo y tenemos que ir o uh, indicar dónde están esos lugares que aparecen acá en las preguntas. Okay, yes. Let's begin. This is the parking pitch. Leather Sorry? I. Leather I is the parking. Go, yes, go try, go try the, the 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 door and the lobby, and turn 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 right. What? <laughs> let me give you. Let me give you a couple of minutes. Um, what happened to you, sir? Teacher. Did you see? I have no water right now.
guys, are you ready? Yes. Okay, okay, excellent. <laughs> Guys, ready now? All of you? Todos, casi? I think I'm ready, teacher. Okay, Veronica and Sandra are ready. What about the rest? Excuse me. My apology. Okay, let's begin with the number one. It says there, where are the restrooms? Remember, you have to you have to guide the person. Okay, maybe a person is asking you or you have to guide yourself. Can you get guys ustedes mismos or get a persona? Okay, so basically you have to give me the direction of the place. All right? Yes. A volunteer. Un voluntario. Okay, I will. Yes. Tell me. Okay. Where are the restaurants? Go uh -huh. straight across cross reception area and turn to right. To right. And that is a, a restaurant. Okay. Easy, right? <laughs> Not really complicated. Yes. What about the second question? Take a look at it. Where is the quality control? Can you answer that question, guys? Or, yeah, I need a volunteer. Yes, teacher. <laughs> okay, go to the, the reception, sorry, 
area. Um, walk, walk through the production area. And turn left. You can find the quality control. Okay, Maybe. and you can find the quality control. All right. Thank you, Veronica, for your participation. Third question. Third question. Where is the manager office? Where is the manager office? I need another volunteer. Yes, go ahead. Alguien. Go ahead, Sandra. No. Right, can you first. can you can you down the image? I can see the letter A and the letter B. Yeah. Thank you, teacher. Only that is your Tori smile. <laughs> okay. Mira qué mala es. Okay. okay. Um, first, go to the reception area from the parking. Go straight. Uh, go past the reception area and walk through the production production area and the. Manager office is to the left, to the right, to the right of the production area. Okay, okay. Easy, right? Easy, easy. And the last one is where's the exit? Hey, this one is to this this one is super simple. <laughs> because you are here, you are here, and uh well walk straight. <laughs> Going straight. Going straight. There you go. Me you teacher. You Me, teacher. Me teacher. Going straight. Okay, Sandra, go ahead. <laughs> Going straight. <laughs> and you can see the exit. Okay, very good. Very good. Thank you guys for your participation. Don't worry. We have more questions down here. We have more questions down here. Okay? So. You're gonna have you're gonna have more chances to participate or to practice. Yes. And uh we have more questions about the same Rex facilities. It says there you are at the parking and you are visiting you're visiting Rex facilities. Your questions are how can I get to the auditor office? How can I get to the quality control requirements? How can I get to the planning area and how can I get to the restrooms? Let me tell you that how can I get is the most, well, how can I get to? It's the most common question that everybody uses when it comes to asking or giving directions. Well, mostly when, you're, when it comes to asking for directions, you use this question, how can I get to? And sometimes, sometimes, they use or people use how do I? How do I get to? It's lo mismo que how can I get to, but this one is how with 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 the uh, with the auxiliary do not not can. How do I get is teacher is like a como puedo hacer. Como llego como llego a o como it's how do I get to? ¿Cómo llego a? La segunda, how can I get to? ¿Cómo puedo llegar a? Like this, it's, it's pretty much the same. It's casi lo mismo. Yes. And, and it's, it's the most common question that we ask when, when it comes to giving or asking for directions. Okay. Guys? Hello. Do you need do you need some time or some minutes to complete the questions or do you wanna try or do you wanna improvise? Can improvisar? Improvise. 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 Let's go, teacher. Improvise. Okay, let's improvise then. 
but we, we cannot see the map. No podemos ver el mapa. Well, let's read the first question. It says, how can I get to the auditor office? Ese lo hicimos, creo, ¿verdad? Auditor office. You know what? We're gonna we're gonna move on. Vamos a seguir con la parte seis. I don't remember. Ah, no, no está. Pues sé que no. Manager office. Manager office. Ya estuvo. Este ya estuvo. Esta la 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 segunda y la última ya están. Solo vamos a responder dos. The first one, how can I get to the auditor office? And the third one, how can I get to the planning area? All right. Oh yeah. The first question is how how can I get to the auditor office? Who wants to try? Can you intentarlo? Hello. I don't err. Uh, <laughs> I don't err, uh, teacher. Um. Yes. You give me. You give me some minutes, please. <laughs> <laughs> no, you have to improvise. You need to improvise. Which teacher is auditor office? Oh, which? Huh? ¿Cuál, ¿Cuál era el que preguntaba? ¿Cuál era? How can I get How can I get to the auditor office? ¿Cómo puedo llegar a la oficina del auditor? Go to the right. Go to mm -hmm. the right and to the restrooms. And go ahead. No, go ahead. Go ahead is next to manager office. Or oh, is in the corner next to manager office. Yes. Okay. All right. Who who else? the same question? Who else wants to try the same question? How can I get to the auditor office? Maybe the other person has a different version or a different different style. How can I get to the section area? No, 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 no. The same one, this la misma, la misma arriba. Uh, to right and cross. Wall troll the production area and um, auditor, auditor, auditor office is next to the manager office. Okay, it, it goes like that. It goes like that. Thank you, Sandra and Anna. All right, the, the third question says, how can I get to the planning area? Christian, yes, Christian. How can I get to the planning area? That's the third question. What is planning area? If you are in the in the reception area, you need to the to walk to the production area and to ride from the planning area. Okay, easy, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Easy, right? Okay, very good, very good. And you are here, you wish. Así me lo, rapidísimo. O como decimos en español, ahí está por una champita, ahí por un palo de ceiba, decimos. <laughs> right? Sí. Qué fácil, digamos. Very fast. Okay, very good. How can I erase this? Mm -hmm. Part number six, we're gonna improvise it as well. Answer the following questions about Rex facilities. Then share your answers to your classmates. Number one, how many areas are there in Rex facilities? People, how many areas do you see up there in the map or in the, in, on the diagram? How many? You have to answer with there are. There are nine. 
Nine. Yes, there are nine areas. Okay, there are nine areas at Rex facilities. There are nine areas at Rex facilities. Second question. Is there a financial office in these facilities? No, there isn't. No, there isn't. No, there isn't. Uh -huh. Exactly, exactly. No, there isn't. No, there isn't. We don't have the, the financial office right there. No, we don't have it. Third question, how many quality control offices are there? There are three. Three, really? I saw only two. Yes, okay, teacher. Okay. Three. Okay. Those. There are three, teacher. Three. Okay, let me see. <laughs> I, I remember only two of them. No le crea Paola. Oh, yes, it is. It, yes, she's right. No, you have to believe. Yes, I know I'm right. It's a woman. What women don't lie. So lie. Why do you believe me? <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure. Me, I wasn't sure. You were sure about it. I wasn't. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. So there are there are three quality control areas in the, the facility. The last one, is there an auditor office? Yes, there is. Yes, there is. Okay, yes, there is. Yes, there is one. Of, there's one, there's one. All right. Over here, we got your turn. A group of visitors is coming to Rex facilities. Uh, explain to them the set of basic rules and safety instructions for visitors in a courteous way, we're gonna we're gonna express five different safety rules or basic rules for for the safety of the people. We got we have some examples. These these right here are examples. Okay, safety instructions: wear a helmet all the time. Oh, they they, they sound like imperatives, right? Imperativos. Walk between the yellow lines. Don't touch any machines. Wear the uh, earplugs all the time. Wear in industrial boots and don't get close to red areas. Okay. Mm, let's change it. Hagamos un poco libre. Okay. Usemos otra compañía, otro lugar, cualquier lugar que ustedes quieran. Okay. Puede ser su 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 su, su workplace. Okay. Use your workplace because you know you know your workplace. You know the safety instructions you need there. So go ahead, mention five safety instructions about your workplace. About your workplace. Go ahead, I'm going to give you a couple of minutes. This activity is individual.
Guys, are you ready? No teacher. No teacher. Okay, okay. I shared three examples of my own, the chats. Yes. You can take them as, an, as examples. People, let me know, let me know. Teacher, uh, yes? how pronounce uh, joyería? Sorry? <clears throat> how pronounce joyerías? Jewelry. 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 Okay, don't, don't use jewelry. Mm, don't wear, Seria, don't wear. Don't worry, okay. See you early. You mm -hmm. Don't.
I think I finished this job. Okay, Carlos is ready. Who else is ready? ¿Quién más está listo? Christian is ready, teacher. Christian is ready. I'm ready, teacher. Okay, I'm, I'm ready, ready. ready. Edwin. We are ready. Ok, iniciemos. Vamos a ver un voluntario. Mi teacher. Ok, Sara, go ahead. A ver Thank si you. está bueno. Okay. Don't use los here in the machine. Como no usar el pelo suelto en la máquina. Don't. don't... Los no es suelto. Oh. In the machine, I've never used that word before. You say uh, loose, like like loose hair. Pelo suelto. Ahí está, loose hair. Uh -huh, loose hair, yes. It's don't use loose hair in the machine. Okay. Hi. Sara, hello. Hello. In you. <laughs> In where the elevator? The elevator. Uh -huh. mm. uh, solo eso tengo. <laughs> okay. It's okay, it's okay. Era cinco, era cinco. All right. Thank you. Otro voluntario. Me, me teacher. Okay, Carlos, go ahead, I, Carlos. Thank you. I, I am at this moment, but um, okay. Um, let me see. Um, hello, my name is Carlos. I am television studio manager. I'm going to give you an instruction for enter to TV studio. Uh, first, to off your cellular. Uh, second, keep silence and. Don't touch the cameras. Uh, don't don't distract the presenters or presentadores. Uh, don't enter it and follow the instruction of program coordinator. I think it's all. Okay, Carlos, thank you for sharing. Yes, it's okay, it's okay, thanks. Another volunteer. Me teacher. Okay, Ismael is ready. Thank you, Ismael. And I think Christian was about to say uh, something too. Christian is next. Ismael, go ahead. Okay. First, be careful with the cars and the crane while are leaving the parking. Second, notice the wet floor sign in the restroom. And third, don't touch the raw material God can be dangerous. You got it? Is that it? Yeah. Okay. Got it. Ismael, excellent, Ismael. Thank you for sharing. Christian, go ahead, Christian. Okay, teacher. If you work in the company, you need to work in the green lines. Then you need wear industrial boots airplugs and helmets all the time and if you get if you get in uh, any place you need to close the door remember don't touch any machine and don't use computer machine and i and 
have a good day. <laughs> okay, and have a good day. All right, that's okay, that's okay. Thank you, Christian, for sharing. Excellent. I need another volunteer. Me, teacher. Thank you, Edwin. Uh, first, uh, don't stray from the Asana group. Uh, second, if you get lost, wait at a help point. Third, always use safari objects, health, vest, and boots. And fourth, uh, pay attention to warning signs. And fifth, in case of accident, inform to the tour manager. Okay. In case, in case of an accident, inform the tour manager. All right. That is mm -hmm. good. Thank you, Edwin, for sharing. Another volunteer. Teacher. Anna, thank you. Uh, the safety rules in my my company are uh, they use the use the fire extinguisher in case of fire. Yes. And the number two, disinfected before entering. And number three, take your temperature. And number four, wear a mask. Number five, keep the door closed. And I have a suggestion in my company that is no fit. How do you say cotusas? What? Cotusas. Cotusa. How do you say? What is that? M mamífero. Un mamífero, como un ratón. So you can say mammals. No, pero se llama cotusa. I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know. Okay. But, but the... not to read. <laughs> chair. I'm sorry. <laughs> My suggestion is. What is cotusa? Es you see, you see. Mamífero, mamífero. I'm not the only Como one. una rata grande. can you share can you share the name through the chat I want to see what, what kind of animal that is. <laughs> I share a is look, uh, this, uh, this animal is look, uh, sorry, wait. No, 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 oh, no, okay. it's it's like cardia or capybara, maybe in a... Uh -huh. It's a capybara. <laughs> it's like a cotusa, more... Oh. <laughs> oh, boy, oh, boy. I got it here, look. Acá está, ve. Para que te vean que ir. Cotusa es una señora por mi trabajo. Ajá. Ay, Mael. Pero que es un roedor también este. Do we have this animal in El Salvador? Yes. 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 But nunca he visto There one. are a lot of animals, a lot of a lot of species. Well, I have never seen this one before. You, no. can, you can eat it, Cotusa. No, Cotusa no, el otro. Hay uno que se llama Tacuacin. Tacuacin es la zarigüeya. No. Delicious. Uh, no, really? Bacala. ¿Cómo se? Hay uno parecido a la cotusa que se come aquí. Cusuco. No sé el nombre común, pero se llama agut, agutipaca. El nombre científico. Agutipaca. Eh, no. Es como una cotusa con manchitas. No agutipaca. Otra especie de cotusa. <risa> ok, sopa de cotusa vamos a hacer mañana. ¿Qué prefiere? ¿Cotusa o agutipaca? <risa> all right, all right. Ana, ¿Quieres? Yes. 
Ana okay. Victoria, do you eat in Cotuza? Or... No, only are they in danger of, of extinction? No, it is. Okay. Um, there are many Cotuzas. No, okay, there are many of them. I don't know. I've never seen one before. Okay, excellent. <laughs> uh, another volunteer. We're missing Andy, we're missing uh, Diana, uh, Paola, I think. Let me see who else. Marvin, Jorge, Sandra, yes, and Veronica. Me, teacher. Oh, me. Hello. Okay, Andy, Andy, yes, go ahead. Um, okay, uh, my example is, is, welcome to the assembly plan of Toyota El Salvador. To wall inside the facility, you must wear a helmet all, at all the time. They should not separate and always wall on the yellow line so as not to miss the to not not to miss the road. Uh, something very important: they should not touch any ma machine, since it will be dangerous. In the same way, never approach the red sun, since there might be dangerous material with which they could be damaged. Finish teacher. Oh, excellent, excellent, Andy. Thank you for sharing. Who is next? Another volunteer, of course. Hello. Me, teacher. Okay, thank you, Veronica. Don't wear your list. Okay. Your Okay, you you right? really uh -huh, okay. Use airplanes all the time. Walk yellow lines, and don't wear loose hair. Loose hair. That's okay. It. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Veronica, for sharing uh, your activity. Let's continue with another person. Sandra, Jorge. Uh, Paola, Diana. Hello, teacher. Okay, Jorge, yes. Thank you, Jorge. Okay, uh, I'm sorry. Can me see? Okay. Welcome uh, to the... I'm sorry. Okay, okay. Welcome to our facilities. Please follow the instruction of the supervisor on duty. Uh, turn off your phone and only work by the mark areas. Um, don't touch any machines and care for, care, uh, take careful and watch your steps. Okay. Be careful. Watch your steps. Steps. Be careful. Be careful, Be careful, careful, careful. and watch your steps. Yes. Steps. Oh. Yes. That's, that's how it goes. Yes. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Jorge, for sharing. We're missing Diana. We're missing Paola. Carlos Eliezer. And uh, he must. Me, teacher. Oh, and Sandra. Yes. Go ahead, Welcome. Sandra. Well. <laughs> Welcome to Company Redcon. You need to use a helmet and glasses and safety box. Please go for the or on the area yellow lines and don't enter to the welding area and don't permanence. Permanence? Don't don't be or don't don't stay. Don't be a stay in the no, cold. Una de las dos, una de las dos, una de las dos. Don't, don't be stay. I don't stay. Okay. Don't stay okay. in the coil place. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Sandra, for sharing. Excellent. Seguimos. Carlos Elias, are you ready? Mm, yes, teacher. Thank you, Carlos. Um, it's oblig obligatory the use of the safety shoes in the critical areas and don't walk while you see your cell phone 
uh, look careful the critic areas before you cross. And the last, don't come here, the goma. No sé cómo se dice de goma en inglés. What? Uh, don't come here, the goma. <laughs> no sé cómo se dice de goma en inglés. Oh, uh, uh, hang on. Hangover. Hangover. Yes. <laughs> Ah, ok, suena gracioso, pero, no, pero no. sí, sí es cierto, en verdad es en mi trabajo. Don't show up hangover. Ok. Thank you, thank you, Carlos, for sharing. Paola, are you ready? Well, are you there? He's sleeping. No, I'm not here. Yes, you are sleeping. You don't have a member. <laughs> no, I'm not here. <laughs> uh, uh, walk down a room in the work areas. Please stay quiet. Um, stay completely alert on the job. Um, keep your mind on your work. That's all. Okay. Okay, thank you, thank you, Paola, for sharing. Diana, go ahead. Okay, uh, my company is Optican. The safety instruments um, are done not tools, the cleaning equipment uh, always wear a uh, mask for you. Safer, don't know, uh, enter. Doctor Sam, are you? Okay, okay, uh, very good. Thank you, uh, thank you, Diana. ¿Quién hace falta? No sé, se han perdido acá alguno que haga falta. No, nadie. Me, me, the chair, but uh, I think uh, I don't have a lot of. No, no lo escucho muy, 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 muy bien, uh, Marvis. Escucha en bajo. Ok. Uh, the first, uh, don't get close to the trees when it's raining. Walk between the way you don't cross the garden. Don't touch any computer. Don't touch any printer. Uh, and don't get, don't, don't enter in the meeting rooms. Ok, don't enter the meeting rooms. That was the last one. Okay, muy bien, muy bien. People, we, we have uh, finished. There is one more activity on the book, but we're not going to continue because we only have two minutes. And of course, we don't have enough time, okay? Yes. Let me ask you one last time. Hey, do you have any plans for the weekend? Algún plan para fin de semana? No, teacher. No, I creo. Sleep. Okay, oh, yeah, sleep. Sleep the whole weekend. <laughs> and who, who is forest. Sorry? Yes, teacher. ¿Quién trabaja me, mañana? Me, I go to I go to the beach tomorrow. You can you, you can invite sorry. invite us, Carlos. <laughs> Llévenos. Oh, sorry. Vete un bus, vete un microbus o un bus y nos vamos. Oh, okay, <laughs> okay. I, I, think, I, I think about I think about that. Haga ruta, haga I notice I, I notice you. <laughs> which, I notice you tomorrow. Which Where do you go, Carlos? Go. Uh, are you going? Uh, I'm going to uh, San Luis de Herradura. I'm going to the Estero, uh, La Paz. Nice. San Luis de yes, uh, and, and Estero. Jaltepeque and uh, Costa del Sol. Wow. Have fun. Que disfrute, Carlos. Que disfrute. Get fun. Thank you. Thank you. Good for you. Es nuestro, es nuestro honor. Es nuestro honor. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Ya que, no, ya que no podemos. Send a picture for tomorrow. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right. People, let me update the attendance. Y luego nos vamos a dormir, ¿ok? Es viernes y hay que ir a descansar. 
Y en the, the, the body is in no. Ah, no, dice, mira. The Aquí body no. is in no. Oh, yes, yes. Diana, Diana. Diana, hello. He's sleep. He's sleep. He's sleep. Sorry, sorry. Hi. ¿Usted se queda ahora, Diana? Oh, oh. ¿Ah? No se vaya a escapar, no se vaya a escapar. Please, stay, stay. Como dice la canción, please don't go. Oh, espérame. Miren lo que estaba yes. buscando. Esto busqué, mira, antes, antes de todo. Miren. Estaba buscando. ¿Sí? Oh. Delicious. Ah, delicious. Ay, no, gordura. Este pez, este pez quintle es el que se come la gente. Teacher. Hello. I have ate a uh, rana. No. In Guayua, yes, rana. Sapo. In Guayua, <laughs> yes. I have ate. <laughs> Es como los pinchos que ven en San Vicente, unos pinchos que ven de carne bien grande, unos pinchos. ¿Han visto eso? En San Vicente creo que es, ¿verdad? Yes. <laughs> delicious, delicious. All right. Uh, Ana Victoria Galán. Present. Thank you, Andy Ernesto. Present, teacher. Yes, Brian David. Carlos Alberto. Present teacher, sorry to be late. Yes, thank you, Brian. Teacher. Thank you, Carlos. Carlos Eliezer. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, Christian Alexander. Present teacher. Thank you, Denise Alejandra. Yes, she was there. Present. Thank you, Diane Amile. I'm here, teacher. Yes, thank you, Edwin Heriberto. Uh, present teacher. Ismael Ernesto. I'm here, good night. Yes, good night, Jorge Ernesto. Present teacher. Marvin Josue. Present teacher. Mayra Elizabeth, thank you, thank you, Marvin, and thank you, Jorge. Present. Yes, thank you, Paola Geraldine. Present. Thank you, Raquel Elizabeth. Present. Thank you, Sandra Ibet. Sara Rachel. Yes, and teacher. Thank you. Veronica Lisset. Present, teacher. And Jancy Andrea. <laughs> All right. Excellent. People, thank you very much. Cuídense. Pásenla bien fin de semana. Disfruten. Duerman, descansen. Si van a algún lugar, salgan con cuidado. Cuídense mucho, ¿ok? Y nos vemos el día lunes. All right? Yes. See you. Good night. 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 Good Good night. 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 Es que es viernes. Ok. Sí, es viernes. Tenemos unos cuatro minutos, Diana, para poder aclarar este, cualquier duda, confusión que tenga de los temas que hemos visto o algún tema aparte de los que hemos visto en general. En todo. Dígame. <risa> no, en todo. Dice sí, es que sí me cuesta bastante. ¿Sorry? Eh, sí me cuesta un poco. Pero todavía no sé si estoy clara en que, en, bueno, lo que estábamos viendo en estas últimas clases es de cuando es en plural y en singular. Ver y es singular. Así es. Ajá. Y there are es cuando hay varias en plural. Sí. And there, is, and, there is, and there is se usa para una cosa o para un uh -huh. sustantivo. Sí. Recuerden, un, bueno, un sustantivo es todo lo que podemos ver. Acá en mi caso tengo uh -huh. pared, tengo una cama, un teléfono, tengo acá un tiro acá, un, un ventilador, cámara, una silla, una, una puerta. Todo lo que podemos ver es, es un sustantivo. Entonces, el DRI se uh -huh. usa para mencionar una cosa. 
Solo una. Ah, sí, okay. una. Por ejemplo, okay. there, there is a cell phone, there's a cell phone ah, next to me. Hay un teléfono a la par mía. There's a cell phone next to me. Uh -huh. Or there is a door, hay una puerta, there is a door in front of me. Hay una puerta en frente de mí. Y el there are, y el there are es lo opuesto. Se usa de dos para arriba. Okay. Ah, okay. Ahí no hay, uh -huh. no hay este, un límite, ahí es de dos para arriba. Okay. Uh -huh. Dos o más. Por ejemplo, puedo decir yo, there are, there are many shirts, shirts, camisas. Okay. Hasta mi, okay. Aquí está mi clase. Bueno, cerca de mí, pues tengo como, como 50 camisas ahí. I have, oh, sorry, there are, there are many, hay muchas, there are many shares, hay muchas camisas. Uh -huh. ¿Y cuando se quiere decir en pasado? Sorry. ¿Cuál sería la, con, con, la conjugación en pasado? De lo mismo. Ah, siempre, había varias camisas. No sé. Sí, sí, se puede, se puede. En ese caso usamos el pasado del verbo be, ya sea de is y de are. Serían, there was, ok, ese es pasado uh -huh. de is, ahí lo puse en paréntesis ah, en el chat. Ah, there, uh, there was, ah, ok, is. Uh -huh. Y ahí está el, uh -huh. el there were, por referencia al are. Uh -huh. Ok, ese es el pasado, uh -huh. también se puede usar en pasado. No sé si está incluido uh -huh. en, esta, en, este, en este libro, en, con este módulo de sistema, pero... Creo que no estoy muy seguro si está incluido en el tema. Ok. Ajá. Se puede, como sí, había, correcto. ok. Había. Uh -huh. Sí. Había. Ok. Sí, más que todo eso, ¿verdad? Cuando usar los, estos, los complementos, los verbos. Este, también me, me pone asustado mucho cuando ha sido el tema de de account y no account contable y no contable oh en, en ese caso hay muchos mmm, decimos nombres ok sustantivos se conoce uh -huh. como nombres o sustantivos uh -huh. tenemos los, los que son contables count y tenemos los que no se pueden contar que se llaman se llaman non count uh -huh. contables uh -huh. y no contables ok los contables son los que se puede decir 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, etc. Y los no contables, más que todo, es el, el líquido. Todo el líquido no se puede contar. ¿okay? Tal vez en español sí es aceptable. No es correcto, pero es aceptable en español. Cuando vamos a la tienda decimos, hey, deme tres cafés. Así decimos, deme tres cafés, o deme dos cafés, o deme, de, deme dos aguas. ¿okay? En inglés jamás pasa eso. Okay. Uh -huh. jamás, no, no, no sé, yo nunca desde, desde que estudio inglés jamás he visto la palabra aguas en plural, o leches o cafés, jamás lo he visto en, en, en plural, siempre, siempre está en singular, entonces todo, uh -huh. todo el líquido se pone en singular o todo el líquido es no contable ok, hay muchas palabras uh -huh. para poder decir que cómo diferenciarlos es imposible decirle, tiene que buscar un, el listado, uh -huh. el listado de, los nombres, de las cosas no contables para que pueda aprendérselas. Imagínense sí, este ya, caso. Sí. Este caso, el arroz no se puede contar de acuerdo al inglés. No se puede contar uh -huh. el arroz. No puedo decir yo rices, no se puede. Arroces, uh -huh. imposible uh -huh. decir eso. Pero sí se puede contar uh -huh. los frijoles, que son casi, lo, lo, son casi iguales los granos, los muy granitos. pequeños. Uh -huh. Pero arroz no se puede, pero sí se puede contar el, 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 el frijol. Ok. Uh, ah, otra cosa que no se puede contar no que es son como muchos. La... Dígame. No es como el azúcar. Esos ya son granos muy, muy pequeños. Ya no es contable. ¿Cuál dice? Azúcar. Oh, azúcar no se puede azúcar. contar. Azúcar. Azúcar, no. sal, uh, cualquier tipo de polvo como harina, el talco. Incluso el polvo no se puede contar. Uh -huh. el, el polvo, la tierra, no se pueden contar esas cosas. Arena no se puede contar. Uh -huh. okay. No uh -huh. se puede. Entonces, en ese caso, okay. no sabía, sabía explicarle cada, 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 cada palabra no contable. Tendría que investigar el listado para que uh -huh. lo pueda ver usted. Porque hay, hay, un, uh -huh. hay un montón, hay un montón. Hay un montón. Hay categorías, sí. hay categorías. Hay categorías en comida, en sentimientos, eh, en, en los líquidos, como le decía. Uh, en comida hay un montón. Okay. 
un montón. Entonces, veré si puedo encontrar un listado, díganme, se lo voy a mandar. Uh -huh. Cambiar a ustedes uh -huh. listado. Sí, listado. Porque... Sí. Ajá. Sí, porque hay, hay un montón. Sí, sería bueno, dice, para verlos bien conociendo. Pero, Así como tengo yo un listado de, de los verbos en presente, en singular, en los irregulares y irregulares. Aquí tengo... Para evitar la, la, la marca de agua. Que pueden, que pueden que decir que es uh, copyright. Mira acá está un los de. Ya la perdí la imagen. Realmente. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. Ok, pero aquí puede ver usted, mire, tenemos advice, aggression, assistance, attention, accommodation, advertising. Mm -hmm. Ay, no. no tengo marca de agua. A ver si lo puede tener en, como en PDF tipo, para descargar el Sí, mejor lo voy a, lo voy a buscar más en, en PDF, un PDF, lo voy a buscar y lo voy a, re, lo voy a reenviar a usted ajá, para que lo pueda chequear sí. y más o menos ver cuáles son, ok, o cómo diferenciarlos. Así, pero como le digo, más uh -huh. que todos son okay. los líquidos, en la comida hay un montón, en la comida, los, los polvos, harina, mmm, el café también es polvo, no se puede bajar el café tampoco en polvo ni el líquido, entonces... Uh, la leche en polvo o en, en líquido tampoco se puede contar ninguna de las dos uh, muchos mm -hmm. sentimientos no se puede, como amor, respeto educación uh, pobreza, muchas sí. cosas que no se pueden contar ¿Okay? sí, sí, correcto ok, perfecto sí, yo creo que con eso es más que todo sí. mm -hmm. uh -huh. ok eh, sí, que ser, por el momento de eso es lo que me preocupa Tengo okay. esa duda. Ok. ¿Más preguntas? ¿Más preguntas? No, no. ¿No? Ok, no, pues, está bien. No. Gracias, Ana, por quedarse. Gracias. Agradezco mucho que, porque Gracias. te haya quedado. Y pues nos vemos el día lunes, ok. Cuídense mucho, descanse y pues pase un fin de semana muy bueno, ok. Gracias, igual. Bye. Nos vemos. Gracias. Thank you. Thank you.